Hey, what's up guys? This is Gabriel with East Coast Coatings. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a before of this house that we're painting. I'm um, just to give you a little backstory of the house. Um, this house was a uh, foreclosed. I talked to some of the neighbors in the neighborhood and apparently there was like, they told me within a, a year, there was like 90 dogs that went in and out of this house. Um, it was a big like spectacle apparently, like cops came and they had to like evict the people and they had all their stuff like on the front lawn and stuff like that. Apparently it was, they were like running meth through the house or something. I don't know the story, you know, 100%. I just know what the neighbors were telling me. But apparently um, the, the owners were like these real bad criminals, all this kind of stuff. And um, you'll see that reflected in the way the house looks. It looks absolutely terrible. Um, just the worst shape. One of the worst houses I ever had to like remodel and, and, and just paint up. So um, without further ado, let's get in this house. Um, again, it was, a, it was a real bad house. I remember when I first put the estimate in for this house, I was calling it a crack house. And then come to find out, I wasn't too far off. They were actually like running meth and like all a bunch of dogs. It was like a kennel and all this kind of stuff. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's get in this home. Let me show you guys the before. And uh, once we finish, I'll show you another video and uh, we'll show you guys how we've turned this, this crack house into a million dollar home. So without further ado, let's walk in this house. Come on, guys. So this is the entrance of the home. This is the voyeur. Um, this would be considered the office slash formal dining room. Um, we've already been in here for a day or so. Um, as you can see, we already got some of the um, we already got some of the mudding done. Um, the the walls were in pretty bad shape. And you know, again, a lot of painters when they paint a home, they just like to slap uh, paint on the walls. But there's actually a, a three-step process that East Coast Coatings uses to paint walls. You know, first and foremost, we sand every square inch of the wall. Uh, second, we mud any imperfections. So that's the phase you're seeing now. Uh, we went and we go. We went ahead and we mudded any kind of imperfections uh, that we found in the in the wall. Um, that's what you're seeing on the wall over here. This is all our, all the mud that we already did. We already uh, knocked out the ceiling. So if you look at the ceiling, you can see that, um, you know, the ceiling's nice and white. You can see on the edges where we just like um, put paint on the edges because we're gonna go ahead and cut that wall in so that paint on the edges isn't gonna really matter. Um, but yeah, come on, let's, let's go check out the rest of the house. So you can see just the terrible shape it's in. Um, as you can see, they got some uh, rotting wood uh, happening over here. Um, they're gonna pull up uh, this floor and they're gonna actually um, re resurface this with new wood. We got, this is would be considered the kitchen. Um, again, we already mudded uh, a lot of the imperfections in the walls. Um, it comes over here. As you can see, just the terrible shape of this door. Um, we're gonna paint this door with a semi-gloss extra white. Um, right now, it looks like utter crap. Um, but we're gonna get this door looking like the White House door, man. This is a closet. Um, I don't know what's down there in the, on the floor right there. It looks like uh, some fecal matter of some sort. Um, I'm, not, I'm not too sure. Uh, we already hit that, that ceiling up. Um, so this is almost, this is about to be ready to get primed up. Um, this is another bathroom. Um, you guys can't tell, but there's a terrible um, smell coming from this bathroom. You guys can't uh, smell it, but I can, I, I can tell you for sure that there is one. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> so if you guys follow me, uh, we can finish the rest of the tour. Uh, this is the living room. Um, I don't know what they got over here. They got some more uh, fecal matter uh, smeared uh, all over the wall. Um, I don't know what this is, but it's gonna get it's gonna get sanded, uh, primed, and painted. Over here, we got some more dirt and grime. Um, just the the whole house is just has just been it was in terrible shape. We'll finish the tour. Uh, we did some mudding work over here. There was a big gaping hole um, right there. That's the first go around. Might have to hit that again with some more mud. Um, if you can see the state of the rugs, just absolutely horrendous. Um, these, these rugs, I don't think I've ever seen rugs in worse shape. Um, this is absolutely disgusting. Um, they have, I, I don't know, man. You guys tell me, Texas Chainsaw Massacre? kind of kind of deal going on over here I, I don't know guys like what, what's the padlock for I, I don't know you guys tell me 
This is the master bedroom. Um, absolutely horrendous. <laughs> look at look at the carpet. Um, I, I don't know what they got going on over here. Um, just absolutely terrible. We got we got holes in the walls. We got holes in the walls that we're gonna have to patch up. Um, we got another we got another hole right here. Looks like somebody kicked it in because uh, they were angry because they I don't know ran out of meth. I, I don't know I don't know what's going on over here. This is the the master uh, bathroom. Um, again, the ceilings are done. We had some peeling um, go on over here while we were painting because I guess the moisture accumulation in the master bath. I'm actually gonna scrape off that peeling paint, hit it with some uh, sheetrock mud, and we'll re-hit that. The hat that looking like a million bucks. Not too worried about it. Um, again, we got some holes over here that we haven't finished mudding yet. Um, we haven't touched this area as of yet. But we're gonna we're gonna hit that up. We got some more holes over here. Um, again, just in terrible shape. A lot of a lot of work to be done. I uh, can't wait to show you guys the finished product. And we're gonna we're gonna come out this. I, I see again. We got some more holes in the wall. Just just terrible. Just absolutely terrible. So we'll come in over here. This is one of the other rooms. Um, we got we got some sheetrock. I mean, we have some wallpaper on the wall that we're gonna have to remove. It's a uh, it's layered in stripes. So this is sheetrock. I mean, this is a wallpaper. This is sheetrock. This is wallpaper. This is sheetrock. So we're gonna actually um, take a pressurized water sprayer. We're gonna we're gonna water this. We're gonna loosen up the adhesive, and we're gonna tear these off uh, before we paint. So um, yeah, pretty excited to show you guys the finished product of that. But yeah, this is looks like it was one of the kids' rooms or something. I don't know. We got some we got some uh, baby stuff in the corner. Must have been one of the kids' rooms. Apparently, the uh, police came in here and, and got everything uh, just removed off the premises. This is uh, the guest bathroom. Um, haven't really, I got in here a little bit. I got some mudding done here, here, over here. Um, again, we got the toilet. Looks like some blood in there. I'm not too sure, guys. You guys tell me. But I'm gonna have this house looking like a million bucks, so I'm not too concerned about it. This is one of the other bedrooms. As you can see, we already started with phase one of the three-step process, um, sanding and mudding any imperfections. Um, we've already got all the imperfections in this room. Uh, once these dry, it'll be good to re-sand and prime. Um, again, let's just keep it moving. We got the laundry room over here. We got the laundry room, we got this. This net is pretty bad shape. We just got some dust, just super dusty. Um, so we're gonna have to, you know, clean that off first before we go ahead and hit that with a nice uh, clean coat of uh, white semi-gloss. Got a big hole over here. Uh, probably one of the dogs or or something that happened over here that you know I'm gonna fix up. We can't wait to show you guys the finished product. Um, and this is the one of the final bedrooms that we have to do. Um, again, already hit a lot of the spots here with uh, some sheetrock compound. But again, we have, um, this is one of the closets in this room. Um, we got some holes in the ceiling that I'm gonna patch up. Um, again, can't wait to show you guys the finished product. We're gonna turn this house to a million bucks. Um, and I think that's all I got. Let's go downstairs. Let's go back downstairs, see if we uh, missed anything. But I'm pretty sure I uh, gave you guys a good idea of the before, um, really the three-step process that East Coast Coatings uses to paint walls. Again, uh, phase one is we sand every square inch of the wall, get all the dirt, grime, and grit off the wall, and mud any imperfections, right? Because this is what a lot of painters don't do. They simply just slap some paint on the wall and um, expect it to look good. That's not the way it works. 90% uh, of a painter's job is to actually prep the wall before you paint it. So we go ahead and we mud any imperfections. We sand them down nice and smooth. We then go ahead and we prime the walls with a high quality uh, drywall primer, right? This is the number one key to a painter's job. You must prime the walls. 
A lot of painters come in and they, they think because they're using a, a, a paint and primer in one paint that they don't have to prime. That, that's not the case. There's no such thing as a paint and primer in one. It doesn't exist. Don't believe the hype, any paint you see paint, it doesn't exist. You want to prime, you always want to prime first because even though we use super paint, we use super paint to paint our walls and they, they advertise paint and primer in one. Again, there is no such thing as a paint and primer in one, right? So even though we're using a high quality, rich, uh, super paint, it's about $60 a gallon, uh, we're still gonna go ahead and prime the wall. It doesn't matter this is a paint primer or one. So, you know, that's another thing that really separates us from most painters. Most painters, they'll just go straight to this, slap that on the wall, I think it's all, it's all dandy. That's not the way it works, right? 90% of a painter's job is to prep the walls. So again, the three-step process we use, number one, sand, get all the dirt, grime, and grit off the walls. And then we mud any imperfections. Phase two is to sand all those mudding spots down, all these mudded areas that we have. We're gonna sand them down, and we're gonna hit all these walls with a high-quality drywall primer, right? It turns the wall into a canvas to receive the paint, right? And then step three, finally, step three would be to apply the super paint, the final coat of paint to the walls, right? Most painters, they, they skip straight to phase three and just slap some paint on the wall. It's not the way it works, right? We have to be able to prep the walls. We have to make the walls look good before we go ahead and throw the paint on the walls. So again, this is Gabriel with East Coast Coatings. Um, that's all I got for you guys. I just want to show you guys a quick before. And as we progress, I'll, I'll shoot another video. And then when we finish, I'll shoot the final video and I'll piece it all together and uh, we'll put and we'll have this video ready for you guys to watch. So again, this is Gabriel with East Coast Coatings. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys got some value and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks guys. Peace.